Hey, this is Russ doing a short video about uh, my surgery I just had yesterday. It's been 24 hours. I thought um, for other people who are trying to make the decision between um, the tenodesis or tenotomy surgery, um, how I came to my uh, decision on the issue and how my recovery is doing. So first off, uh, I'm not a medical professional. I'm just a guy who got cut up by a doctor. So let's get that clear. But um, I want to explain a little bit about the surgeries I got. Um, so I chose tenotomy, which is uh, relieving or cutting off the long head of the uh, biceps tendon and letting it retract into the uh, upper arm. I also had, I um, think it's called subchromial decompression, um, which means the, I have a curved chromium bone and they shave some of it off to make, make it straight so that it wouldn't impinge um, on nerves, muscle, and uh, my bursa, causing bursitis in there. And then I also had a slap repair. Uh, my, I had a torn labrum and my uh, bicep tendon was pulling my labrum tear open every time I moved my arm. Caused me pretty excruciating pain for about four months. And uh, that's why we did the uh, uh, tenotomy in the first place. And to fix the slap repair, they uh, shave off the backside um, and they shave off a bit of the bone and they just let the labrum uh, heal to the bone naturally. I don't even know if there's any suture anchors or anything. I think it's just supposed to heal on its own if I don't move it. So one of the reasons I chose this, these specific surgeries was because of excessive inflammation in there, bursitis and stuff. Um, the decompression fixes that. Um, the type of slap repair um, I have has a quitty, pretty quick recovery um, and it doesn't require um, a lot of surgery. It's all arthroscopic, which means there's probably, I think, three holes in there that the doctor goes through and um, does his work from the outside of the arm. And then uh, now let's talk about the tenotomy versus the tenodesis. So I did a bunch of research. I read a bunch of orth uh, orthopedic medical journals online. Um, I read several studies and I had two separate uh, long discussions with my doctor. Um, we both decided that tenotomy was the best decision for me, number one, because of the quick recovery rate. I'm a drummer. Um, I'm a bass fisherman who fishes 50 to 100 days a year. Um, I also run a firewood ministry at my uh, church where I swing an axe and I lift heavy logs. And I'm a mechanic. I work with my hands, sometimes damage my hands. Um, so I'm pretty uh, rough on my body. Um, so this tenotomy, uh, from what I've been able to ascertain, gives you the fastest recovery rate. Um, I'm already within, uh, so it's 24 hours since my surgery and I'm already moving my joint and uh, working towards flexibility 24 hours after surgery. So uh, that's the primary reason I chose that. Now, in terms of um, what will give you a better outcome? Well, the reality is after all the surveys that I looked at and all the different studies and all the different articles, is that the results between tenotomy and uh, tenodesis are about the same. Um, the primary difference is, of course, I, I no longer have a, bi a usable bicep muscle in my arm, and there's possibility of disfigurement, what they call a Popeye bulge in your bicep region. But the reality is your bicep muscles attach to your the top of your labrum with a tendon that's about half the size of your pinky. Um, so it's not uh, really as strong or I would say as important as people really think it is as we're led to believe it is by sports stars who build up that particular muscle. Um, also uh, I looked at the recovery rates between tenotomy and tenodesis and it seemed like um, the only difference between them is in terms of muscle loss and cramping and pain were that the tenodesis um, patients had a considerably longer recovery um, and there's a possibility of not only um, still having irritation from the relocation of the long head of the biceps tendon into the upper forearm uh, but also a future possibility of tearing it 
and ending up with tenotomy anyway. So that's why I chose uh, what I chose, and so far I'm pretty happy with it. Um, my muscle block's about gone, and at the moment I'm not even taking pain relievers other than ibuprofen, so things are going well. So uh, talk to you again in a few days.